Once there was a dog which ran into a museum filled with mirrors. The museum was very unique. The walls, the ceiling, the doors and even the floors were made of mirrors. Seeing his own reflections, the dog froze in surprise. He was standing in the middle of the hall and he could see a whole pack of dogs surrounding him from all four directions and from above and from below. The dog bared his teeth and barked and all the reflections responded to it the same way. The dog was frightened and barked frantically and the dog's reflections imitated the dog and increased it many times. The dog barked even harder but the echo was magnified so the dog tossed from one side to another while his reflections also tossed around snapping their teeth. Next morning, the museum security guards found the miserable dog which had fainted and looked almost lifeless. It was surrounded by thousands of reflections of the collapsed dog. There was nobody to harm the dog. The dog was just fighting with his own reflections. The world doesn't bring good or evil on its own. Everything that is happening around us is just the reflection of our own thoughts. Our thoughts, feelings, wishes and actions, just reflections of all these. If your thoughts are positive, you will have the strength to understand life and find solutions to everything. If you are only afraid of the situations, the time just goes being afraid and fighting the fear rather than finding other ways. Most of the times, the problems are because of overthinking. Our thoughts are so powerful, so keep it brave, happy and positive always. The world is a big mirror. Let's just strike a good pose. Once a drunk woman was speeding down in the road in her car and was pulled over by a robber who was pretending to be a policeman to get some money. He was in the cop's uniform and asked to see the driver's license. The lady ducked through her purse and was getting progressively more agitated. What does it look like? she asked. The man replied, it is square and it has your picture in it. The lady finally found a square shaped mirror in her purse, looked at it and handed it to the man. Here it is, she said. The man looked at the mirror, then handed it back saying, sorry, I didn't know you were a police.